Good morning. We're uh, in the kitchen today and you're gonna get a cooking video. Not really, you're gonna get a coffee video. So, this weekend, we talked a lot about how to make my own ice lattes at home, because I gotta say, this Starbucks latte's not that good. And I've like changed what I use for milk and all that, so it's made it much more difficult to get what I want that tastes good. So, um, Tony and I, well, Tony and I had conversations with people about iced lattes, and the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to make your own iced coffee. So it's just a third a cup of ground coffee, doesn't really matter the grind, and like a cup and a half of water, and you just throw it in a container of water and stick it in the fridge for 24 hours. And what you get is sludge mud. See that? It's really messy. Sludgy muddy. Okay? And then I have a fancy thing here, but you don't need a fancy thing. I have an iced coffee maker, and I'll put the link below what this is, from my daughter who, who loved her iced coffee so much she had to give it up and give me the equipment so she would stop using it. What it comes with is just a plastic thing and a filter. And then this is actually supposed to be the fancy place where you pour your coffee out of, but I was planning on filtering through cheesecloth or a coffee filter, but I don't have either cheesecloth or a coffee filter. So I'm gonna use the fancy thing with its fancy filter. All you do, mix your grounds, let them sit overnight, pour it in this, and I have put a mason jar underneath. This thing fits over a mason jar, but I will probably, when I clean this out, put my coffee back in this. And you just, this has a filter, but I wish I had cheesecloth, I'd like the cheesecloth better. And I pour my coffee into the filter, and it slowly drains into my jar. Cool, huh? So, that is the old school, hopefully it won't leak the filter, I'm trying to pour this gently. There. That is the old school way, and look at all the coffee in there still. That's the old school way. I now have iced coffee. I have this much. I may re-filter this if I've got some grounds through it. The other option, the other option is to buy your coffee pre-made in a bottle. Tony came home with this last night. This is delicious, and no, they have not advertised for me. It's blonde roast, delicious. I came home at 8 p.m. and had one. Needless to say, I was up till 2 a.m. I was up till 2 a.m. All you do, Fill your glass, and this is a big tall glass because I'm planning on making a big one. A big tall glass with ice. Pour it half full with this. And then the tricky bit. And I will um, cut for now because I have to get my ice. And then I'll come back and show you. All right, I filled it really full. I filled it really full. And I'm gonna put half full of ice. Oh, I can't even tell when I fill it half full on this. I need a see-through one. There, fill it half full of coffee. And then, this is the part that's a palava, but that's because I have um, collagen protein in my coffee every morning, so half and half. I'm gonna fill it to the min line. And then I take my scoop of collagen protein, and I'm putting this in my milk frother, which will make it hot but there is a setting on my milk frother that is cold. So I can just mix everything together. Alternatively, I know that Ikea has them and then I'm putting just a little bit of a drizzle of honey in here. Just one, a little more than I do for my hot coffee, but only a little more. Ikea has one, a frother stick thing that you can put in, so you could do that instead, is you could, probably another cup, Throw your half and half in, throw your uh, collagen in, and then throw your milk in, and then take your frother stick and froth it that way. And um, the reason I'm frothing, one, oop, let me get it going, is, I'm just making it do its thingy. It's a frother pot thing that I always use for my coffee. The reason that you do that is one, the honey's lumpy, and I've decided that I don't want to use simple syrup and I don't want to use sugar so, or make simple syrup, or I don't, and I can't use the sugar-free sweeteners anymore because I'm allergic. So um, the honey is like, I don't know, the healthiest alternative to having sugar. 
So uh, that's why I'm doing that. Now, if this doesn't fill up my cup, I'm gonna add some more half and half without mixing it. But that's it. That is your morning coffee. Coffee with Tina. <laughs>